Hi there, so I'm Andrew from SimonWood.com. Uh, I have a couple of Southern French Viognier's here, um, and um, well, both 2013, uh, both Paydoc, are they? Yeah, both Paydoc, um, let's just dig in. First one is um, Asda's Extra Special Viognier 2013, bottled by W1746 at NR162JU. So you know who it's been made by. Uh, but that, all that thing about beer is bottled by them. Uh, it's a UK bottling. Has that affected it or not? Let's have a see. First time I stuck my nose in, I thought, oh, it feels a bit simple and citrusy. Uh, but the more I swirl it, the more viognicity, if that's a word, um, emerges from it. So you're getting this nuttiness, uh, the more exotic, yes, there's, a, there's the citrus grippiness to start with, uh, but then uh, some of those uh, richer peach pear characteristics unfurl. And then what's good about it, it's got the crispness and it's got the exotic edge. Um, uh, combining the two can be difficult. Maybe, if anything, I mean, I've, I've got a feeling that um, um, some of the crispness there might be, uh, I don't know whether they'll, they'll, have, they'll have added some acidity or picked a little bit earlier. It's not particularly high in alcohol for Southern France, 13%, uh, but there's just something on the finish that makes me think a little bit of acidification there. But I like the way the flavours have developed, and I'm sure that uh, if you were to stick, stick into that uh, with a... Um, I don't know what would I want with that. Uh, something uh, quite rich and seafoody. That would that would go be rather nice. And second sip, it's better on that. It's almost like it, there's um, that slightly hard-edged finish, uh, but the rest of the wine's growing rounding. Uh, next one, Les Jamel Viognier. And apologies to the people who sent this. Uh, it was sent rather a long time ago, and I'm only now, now just getting round to tasting it. So uh, forgive me. And this seems richer and peachier. Um, I don't know whether it's um, because it's been, I've, because I've had the sample sitting around for a good few months, uh, but um, uh, it doesn't smell like it's got as much of that uh, citrus grippiness as, as the previous one. Let's just have a look and see what it's like alcohol-wise. Same alcohol level, but um, anyway, let's taste it. And it is a richer, rounder, fleshier style. Um, doesn't have that citrus edge, it has more of the peachy nuttiness. Um, maybe I little, miss a little bit of the freshness that's on the first one, but equally, maybe the first one doesn't have as much of that exuberant, uh, slight exotic wobble that I expect from Viognier. I think I like them both about as much as each other. Maybe one's a lunchtime wine and maybe one's an evening wine, but um, apart from that, hard to tell them apart. They're both nice. See you soon.